Welcome to Getting Started with ECCAD for HVAC Session 4. In this session, we're going to cover modifying your ductwork, numbering your ductwork, and sending the pickoff file to Fab Shop for fabrication. I have some duct drawn that I want to make some modifications to. So if I come into this duct run and start looking, I can see right here in front of this elbow, I have a little 10 and a half inch piece. I don't want to have to build that or install that. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto that piece and up on the ribbon by hitting modify, I can add that to the throat of that elbow and eliminate that short piece. As I move on down the duct line and look, I can see I have another piece right here, eight inches long. You have the ability to pick onto that piece and you can add that either to your transition or to your elbow. If you come up here to your pull down and you can see here, I've got the selection, the fitting in front or the fitting behind. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it to my transition and say, I want to add that to my transition there. Now I have that no short piece. I also had left a blank here where we had to make an offset to move around something. If you come and click onto this piece and then come on clicked onto this piece, we have the ability to add the fitting in there. So I can go up here to my pull down and say I want to put a transition, but it's an OG offset and I want to apply that. And that's going to put that OG offset in there for me automatically. So now I've made my modifications to my duct run and I'm ready to go ahead and do a pick off on this. But before I do the pick off, I'm going to go ahead and number the duct work, which we did cover this in another session. But I'm just going to come in here and say now I want to do duct part number and I'm going to hit enter to attach the parts. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK and touch onto a piece of duct and it's going to apply my piece numbers to this. If we come and look, you'll notice all these are piece number four because they're all identical pieces. That's set up in the numbering options. But now I want to come in here and I want to go ahead and create a pickoff file for this. So we're going to go and we're going to go up, up to our load catalog pull down and we're going to open up our fabrication palette. The fabrication palette over here has several tabs and I want to use the pickoff tab. So we're going to select pick off and then we're going to pick up here on the directory and we're going to right click and say we want a new category. Then I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to rename this to, I'm going to say this is going to be my air handling unit number one supply. So we'll go ahead and just create that folder structure and now I can come either right click here and say I want to define my pick off here or I can pick the little button down here to define it. They both do the same. I'm just going to say I want to define this pick off. Now it wants to know what do I want to pick off. I can say I want to pick off numbered and unnumbered duct. So I could say both if I had nothing numbered for some reason. What fitting shapes do I want to use? So I can tell it what shapes I want to pick off. What fitting statuses. Maybe if I've got a purchased item, I'll set this to false that I don't want to pick that off. We also have different ways of doing pick offs. Duct would be done with a crossing window. Duck run, duck run with branches. I'm going to say I'm going to use the duck run with branches, and now it's going to come down here and I'm going to just touch a piece of duck. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to create me a pickoff file over here underneath my folder structure. So it created my, my air handling unit 1 supply 001. I'm going to just say go ahead and generate me that file. So once that file is generated, I'll be able to go over here and open up Fab Shop and look and see what I brought in. But I wanted to come in here and I wanted to look at this fitting number here, fitting number five. Okay, that's where we added an additional throat to that elbow. So if I come in here now and I open up Fab Shop, I'm going to come in here and tell it I want to start a new project. So by just right clicking here, I'm going to go to new project and I'm going to tell it that this project name is going to be, we're just going to call this pick off. And we're going to go ahead and say OK. And now I'm going to come into that one and I'm going to start a new job under this. So if I go over here, I'm going to say I want a new job. And again, we're just going to call this first floor. You can come in here and you can associate different colors for your labels. There's a lot of this. We'll cover this in the Fab Shop sessions. But I'm just going to hit OK now. And now I'm going to go ahead and say I want to bring this file in. So back in CAD, when we did this pick off on this drawing, you see I was under my pound folder, drawing to air handling unit number one supply. 
So in Fab Shop, I'm simply going to come up here and say I want to import, and I want to import the Trimble Pickoff file, and I'm going to navigate to where that file lives. So if I go here to my structure drawing two, and then air handling unit number one supply with today's date, and then we'll go in here and there's my pickoff file. So I'm going to tell I want to bring that file in, and I'm just going to say import this. The first time you import one, it's going to ask you for some mappings. These mappings are intelligent mappings, and they will remember the system. So I just tell it to add this. Now I'm going to tell it to save the pickoff, and it's populating my pickoff file here in my uh, fab shop. So if I come down here and I go to piece number five, that square elbow, and we go to look at that square elbow, you can see there's added the additional throat length on that that we had done in the CAD. So it brings over exactly what you've drawn into Fab Shop for your fabrication needs. And that will conclude this session of the getting started with EC CAD for HVAC session four. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit map.trimble.com for even more product resources.